people don't realize devastation. You have to be strong. So we're here in Port Arthur this week uh, to do whatever it is we can. We've been assigned to uh, hang drywall this week, so that is our focus. Teams before us have done cleanup and, and reconstruction work, and then teams after us will, will do finish work. So we we're, we're, uh, usually go for one week at a time. Fourth weekend in August of 2017, uh, one of the biggest hurricanes that has ever hit the state of Texas uh, came through and uh, it devastated uh, hundreds of miles of the coast and uh, we've been rebuilding ever since. Well, you know, that's, that's the thing about these storms is trees fall everywhere. It, the trunk may be on someone else's property, but it could affect two other people's properties. And so we all pitched in together to help. First part of November, the Red Cross estimated that we lost 6,400 people permanently. Last week, the county clerk put on the news that she's had 17,000 voter registration forms returned because there's nobody at the house. So that's what we're looking at. There's homes in Port Arthur that haven't been gone into yet. There's homes in Port Arthur that they went into, they did some work, they closed them back up, and now they're nothing but mold in them. We are in the midst of disaster recovery, disaster relief, uh, in partnership with a lot of organizations. Uh, we're working with LCMS Disaster Relief, we're working with Orphan Grain Train, and what Gloria Day has been doing uh, is housing volunteers uh, through our partnership with Fuller Center and Orphan Grain Train. God is sending warriors down here, and when we can't stay here, we need more to come down and replace us in our mission so that the body of Christ continues down here. The response was tremendous from LCMS congregations. So we're doing drywall removal, floor removal, we're doing some um, water damage and that sort of thing, but we're also putting walls back on, putting roofs back together. We've had electricians come out and help rewire people's homes. We've had plumbers help out, HVAC help out. We've talked to volunteer organizations that are going to be here. They're committed right now for three to six years. There is no end in sight. And so if you think that this is something that you want to taste and see what, what there is here, come, do. I guess I feel it's important to be here because you know, back in Illinois, we were watching television and watching the flooding and all the disaster that was happening. And um, just felt so blessed that we were experiencing that. But our heart just went out to the people who were. And I just feel really blessed that I'm able to, to come here and try to be some helping hands. It's unbelievable that people come that far. Yeah. And uh, they're just so willing, you know, to do whatever they can. And they're, they're one of many groups. And the Lutheran uh, Church has been here uh, probably a, 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 bunch. Couple, yeah, a couple a of bunch. months. Yeah. My wife and I have sent out many emails to the local church, multiple emails. The only church that has answered the bell is the Lutheran Church. It, two in the Woodlands, Salem Lutheran, Trinity. Scripture says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And if we don't have strength, we're gonna, we're just gonna, you're gonna find us falling out on the side of the road. And I can truthfully and honestly tell you what I've told every group that has come here. They are, in a very real measure, our sense of joy. They keep us connected to the vine in a way with Christ. It's very, very, just such a, a tangible ex experience of being a part of the vine. And those volunteers, somehow it's just contagious. We continue to have joy and that joy is from the Lord, but it is our strength. That's what keeps us going. 